We want, launched a website called Aura Madonna Strong. And really what it's all about is that there's something special about living in a rural community. And that is there's a long tradition of neighbors helping other people. And what is really happening with, it seems like we're on a 10 year anniversary of this uh, COVID thing right now after six weeks. And people are getting frustrated about sort of being uh, cooped up, but I think it's more frustrating that they would like to do things to help other people and they really don't know what they can do. And so the campaign really is all about bringing the community together when a number of people are feeling helpless. By sharing stories, people are going to get an idea of what other people are doing and they might do themselves. And you can really lift the spirits of other people by helping them. But at the same time, when you help, you lift your own spirits. And you know, some of the essential service people are really being overlooked. People are sheltering at home, but they seem to forget that it's those people who are going out to work every day, putting themselves at risk. And they aren't necessarily <clears throat> people in the medical field. They're people who deliver food, who stock shelves, who pick up our garbage and do all the work on the roads and all the other kinds of things that are out there. And really what it, we're trying to do is to let them know that they're appreciated. One of the things that some people are doing, and you see it on TV a lot, is that they're making these cloth masks. And uh, there's a network of people getting together to do that. And they're being, being very well received. And people are feeling really good of being a part of that. We've uh, been able to be fortunate enough to have a company called MPC in our township. And what they are doing is they are uh, changing their injection molding where they've been making auto parts to uh, doing something to help counteract the virus and to make people feel safer in the workplace. And what they have done is they've designed, patented, and spun on a dime, I would say, in order to produce masks. These masks look like this. I'm going to put it on and model it for you. <laughs> and they are so light that you hardly know you even have them on. And the idea of these are for people in the workplace to be able to wear them. And uh, so that they won't be as susceptible in the event they come near some of their coworkers. And for example, Honda Canada has been one of the first to order them. And this company is now, now uh, putting out 30,000 of these a day with the help of two other factories in Barrie that they've uh, got, got working along with them. This company has hired 40 university students. And when this uh, uh, gets over with, they will be translate those into permanent jobs. And in order to find space, we provided the arena for them to move their uh, warehouse of parts for the auto industry into and they can then uh, set up to produce these masks. Additionally, they're working with Georgian College. We have been able to uh, locate the Georgian College students who will be programming the robots uh, to uh, produce these masks uh, and work in, in the, in the uh, fire hall that's, that's now vacated at Shanty Bay for this purpose. So we're really pleased that we can sort of not only help people find ways to help each other, but at the same time, set, set a good example as a township and help boost those people who are uh, doing all these great things. And we did this, of course, uh, in helping the industry out. We wouldn't consider charging them for uh, the space at the arena or at the fire hall. So we're setting a good example. We're encouraging people to get involved and we're giving people the opportunity to be able to really contribute to what we really value as a rural lifestyle. One of the things that's happening is that we're getting a lot of, uh, of thanks coming into the township for the township workers. But at the same time, we're seeing people posting in their windows and putting all over the township uh, hearts with appreciations of thanks. And that's why we decided to elect to have a heart shape in our Oro Medante Strong. We would really encourage people to uh, share their stories so that we can post them on the website. And the hashtag for that is hashtag Oromedante Strong, or they can simply send in pictures or photos to any member of staff or any member of council, and we'd be happy to pass them along.
certainly we want to show that we are Oro Medante strong, that we're in this together, and we can do something to make the situation better for everyone.